All righty, turn 176, May 31st, 42. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Yeah, I figured he'd auto flip that. A blue sub. Isn't that isn't blue French? Do the French have subs? Or maybe blue is... Oh, somebody hit a mine. Not us. I would worry that I'm gonna hit a mine. Hear that noise? I'm like, oh, it's me. Especially when you're invading, especially when you're landing somewhere and you're, you, know, you don't know for sure. Even if you have minesweepers, nothing, so nothing's guaranteed. Escorted bombers. Get them, guys. There's one. There's two. The P 40s did not come out to play. Alright, that's the air phase. Gonna finish up the naval phase, and then we'll run into land combat, moving, land moving combat. Go. What we got? Right. Nope. One, two. We lost eight seventy-five. He lost one seventy. What? What? Wow. That was a horrible roll from our part. Look at that. At least we'll take this base. Banzai! Alright, saw two things being scrapped there. Oh, we got some Falcons. It's not going to tell me what was scrapped, is it? Nope. I still wish we could do uh, transports, you know, both ways on, on the air. Haul supplies in, haul the disabled squads out. All right, we're going to expand some bases, and then we'll run through production. When that's done, we'll pause the game, grab some saves, grab some data, come back for a quick after-action report. Not a, not a whole lot of action. Alrighty, another slow day in the war, pretty much. Score-wise, we went up 63 points. Rob dropped 21. Let's see, in the air, he lost 18. Wow, we lost one. I like those numbers a lot. Let's see what we lost. We lost an Oscar to Ops. Alright, he lost oh, he lost a bunch of planes on the on the ground at uh, Tillajep. Yeah, see, he lost... 
15 planes right there. He lost six DO 24s, one air to air, five on the ground. He lost nine Falcons, four air to air, five on the ground. He also lost a B 17, the Ops. So we lost one fighter aircraft. Let's see. Wounded pilot, of course. All right. Well, better better than dead. Wounded usually come back. They don't always, but they have a, they have a good chance of coming back. All right. What do we have? Anything coming soon? 14 days to some sallies. All right. Nothing else there. Ship sunk. Let's see. All right. So we killed a HDML and an ARD at Telejep. One was being built. One was in port, I believe. I'm not sure which was which. My guess would be the AR, the HDML was in port and the ARD was, was being built. But it could have been the other way around. So we'll, we will take those points, though. Incoming ships. All right, 33 days to the Ryuho. 67 to the to the uh, to the Kmon. Incoming ground units. Five days to a headquarters. Nine to a port unit. Twelve to a base force. Twenty-three days to two armored divisions, but they are temporarily restricted, so we'd have to buy them out. In twenty-three days, we'll have eleven hundred political, roughly about thirteen hundred political points. Won't be anywhere near enough to buy half of half of these guys out, but. We have them for, for later. Alrighty. Let's see. Engines and aircraft. We know engines were zero because we have them all turned off. We built three Nels, two 3B0s, a Topsy, and a, a Mavis. And device wise, let's see. 20 support, some heavy infantry, a radar, and a searchlight. All right. I am curious as to what hit that mine. Let's see if the combat reporter will, will show it. If not, well, it has, has to be somewhere. If not, we'll look in the ops, ops report on, on the turn. So here we go for the 31st. There it is. Yep, SS Polak hit a, Polak hit a mine at Saipan. Nice. Uh, should be a Type nine, uh, 93, a nice big fat naval mine. Hopefully that'll kill that sub. He's probably coming in to lay mines of his own, so we have to be careful. I'm going to make a note of that, actually, to check for mines there. Let's see. Mines. Saipan. All right. On the ground. Let's see. Up in China, we attacked. We got a horrible roll to die. You can see we got, I mean, we have more men, better assault, and we got one to two odds when we took a beating. I mean, only mostly disabled, but still, he has one core there that, that was worth a crap. The other one is, is is crippled, and we did nothing. At Lafoa, he bombarded again for no 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 losses. And at Tilajep, we attacked and got 40 to 1 odds. Blew through the fort level level 2 fort. We knocked it into 1 and we blew right through it. Um, we killed, it shows here, 8 planes on the ground, but I think there was a few more than that. We got 200, 202 wounded men, the rest retreated, and we took the base. In the air, not a whole lot happened. He did try to bomb my, my ships at Batavia. The Falcons came in with no escort whatsoever. And we shot down, I believe, must have been four of them here, because it said we got four kills, but it only shows three and two. So I'm not sure where, where the, other, the extra ones came from. But but we, we shot them all, all down. Signal report. Let's see. Nothing. Yep. Nothing outstanding there. All right. Unknown. Uh, he owes resizing all his air groups, which means we need to go back in and resize them again because I don't. I don't like them being being even. I like fighter. I like being. I prefer to be fighter fighter heavy. Payo up upgraded. Alright. Replacements. A zero back in the pool. Uh, and the M30. We got a new unit last turn with some M3s, which are pretty much useless. So we're going to throw those guys out and put some regular zeros in there. Repairs. Nothing repaired. Pilot. We got credit for two kills. 
Intel and Chet and Chitka build an airfield and Efate build a fort. And we got three APs last turn. And Chitka, I believe, is a US base. It's one of these on the end here, isn't it? Yep, right there. Alright, that's the kind of what I thought. It was one of the illusions. Which I wasn't sure which one it was. Alright. Let's hop over here. Let's see. Down to Singapore as normally. We're loading up resources, bringing stuff in. Everything's going good. Is this guy, does this guy recover any yet? No, he has not. They are taking their good old time. Although, the non-combat stuff looks like it's slightly starting to, to recover, which is good. But we need we need the combat troops to recover so we can go back take some take some bases. Okay, that looks good. We arrived at Semarang. Does not look like as much here. What do we got here? We got tank regiment. We will go ahead and attack. Let's take a look at this base we got. There's his men that fled to the south. Oh, there are. There's nothing really to see here. There's, I thought there might be some resource or something here, but there's not. All right. A little bit damaged port and such, but we will repair that. We got a ton of engineers here, but we're not gonna wait. Let's chase. This guy doesn't have a garrison for some stupid reason, does he? No, he does not. All right, we will chase these guys fleeing. And actually, we should stop this guy from moving. Hmm. Do we stop him and then put him on the rail? We might want to. All right, I need, need to think about that. This other tank unit will be arriving. Pop, not, not next turn, though. Terrican, we're... I'm um, Terrican. And Borneo, we're doing fine. Terrican repaired another oil. We got one left to go. We're at fifth... We're at... Just 50 under, and we got 600. Well, we might be dropping that off enough to repair that last oil. Let's hope so. We're, gonna, we're starting to load some more fuel up here at Balak Balak Poppin. We got this guy leaving with resources and a little bit of oil. Makassar is ours. We got that, took the last turn. We have to chase down these fleeing guys. With Makassar in our hands, that means we can uh, we can land we can go into this ar archipelago, these islands here, without any any real 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 concern. Loading up resources. Let's go down to the South Pacific. All right. He he kind of sees us here. He does not see this guy at all, which is good. Why is he still loading troops? Except change. Still says he's loading troops. What the hell? Oh. Yep, see, he's still loading. Loading stop. Allocate. There we go. You should have left last turn. Get the hell out, out of here. All right. This guy is going to be fleeing up this way with that damaged ship. Want to drop off troops here. There's KB unspotted, which is excellent. Let's see, he's he's running. But two, four, how many? Let's see, two, four, six, eight. We can get here, maybe here. If we we arrive here, if we make it here, we'll be just within range of Horn Island. So if anyone's there, we should be able to say hi. Let's go for that. I don't know if we'll make it there, but we will We will see. I don't think we're going to be able to. I think he's going to get, get, get away. The only thing is he's leaving his troops be, behind. All right. Our combat task force heading north to refuel, rearm. Got a damage destroyer heading north. Some ships coming south. There's our... There's our our crippled uh, patrol boat still making his way north. Not a whole lot going on a truck at the moment. We got empties coming north. So he was at Saipan. Does not look like he dropped, like he got any mines off. But we're going to play it safe. Local mine sweeping. All 
All right. We'll make we'll, we'll play it safe just just to make sure. How many mines do we have inside pan here? Two hundred eighty-five. All right. We got resources coming north, coming north. Take a look at our pick a line. How are they doing? Clear sky, partial cloud, partial cloud, heavy rain. All right. Let's see. We're loading up some troops here. Those CD guns. Why are we loading fuel? Uh, all right. Hio has arrived right here. Come on. Oh no. Well, that's what they got here. Still, still in port. Okay. We got a bunch of resources here to drop off. 21,000, 22,000 basically. 30, 40,000 total. Nothing there. 68, 69,000. 79, 87,000 resources we might be unloading this next turn. Plus this guy's coming down with some. Another, another, another 30,000 there. Uh, next turn, we might be positive in resources. If there's another, what, 4,000 there, another 4,000 here. This guy's coming in with resources and a little bit of oil. All right, so we got resources and such on the way. All right, see, here was that attack. I still don't understand how we got repulsed here. I mean, I don't know. It seems like a, lo like a load of crap to me. But our troops have moved into... Changsha here. Let's move him into combat mode. And let's say hi. Let's do a full bombard and see what's here. That should be just one little, yep, that guy is sitting there keeping the road open. Some troops arrived here. Combat, You're just gonna get a little, little supplies up there. We should be good. We still am not caught up to that guy yet. Uh, he's on my rail, blocking it again. I got nothing in the immediate area to send after him again. Damn it. Alrighty. I'm going to have to pull these guys back, I think. I hate to, I hate to, to do it, but I think I'm going to have to. And that's pretty much the turn. Like I said, not super exciting, but it's another day in the war. If you guys enjoyed watching it unfold with me, please go ahead and click on that like button. If you're following the campaign but you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click on that button as well. I would appreciate it. And until another other turn comes in, you guys all have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.